We'll start by warming up the head and the neck. We need the neck to be free and to be open in order for the voice to be able to travel freely from the belly, through the neck, and out the mouth. We'll start in the neutral standing position. I'm wearing shoes today, but it is always ideal to warm up with bare feet so you can feel the ground under your toes and under your feet, and you can feel yourself root down into the earth. The more rooted you are, the more solid you'll feel. Find solid ground in the high mountain pose. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see how I'm standing. Stand with your feet hip distance apart. Take your two fists, drop them between your feet, and measure between the balls of your feet. It'll probably feel like you're standing a little bit pigeon-toed, but you want the sides of your feet to be parallel to each other. Therefore, the toes will face inwards a little bit. Check that your knees are not locked. Bounce yourself a little bit. Allow all the parts of your foot to touch the ground. Check that all the toes are touching and the three corners, the balls of your feet, the sides of your feet, and your heels are all in solid contact with the ground. But be careful not to grip the ground with your toes. Lift up your toes and allow them to relax. Next, we check that our knees are not locked. If your knees are locked, you're rigid and you won't be able to move freely. So just slightly unbend your knee. The next is to make sure that we've got good posture. I, myself, tend to stand, lock my knees, and uh, lock my back, stand forward, and it's very, very bad. It means that there's no flow from the feet to the lungs, to the shoulders, out the mouth. So I'm going to show you what a terrible posture is, like my own, and how to correct it. Initially, a good posture will feel alien to you, but with practice, it'll become natural, and you will realize that everything will, will continuously spring from your core. This will activate the core and keep you aware of it. So, I'm going to lift my shirt so you can see my body a little bit better. This is how I tend to stand myself, with a, 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 a scooped out lower back, which means that there's absolutely no support in the stomach area. And all you need to remember is for a straight spine is to tuck the tailbone under and immediately you have a better posture. Shoulders back, opens up the chest, no pressure on the lower spine, no pressure on the upper spine, allows the neck and head to lift and the chin to drop. Can you see the difference? This is how we tend to stand when we're lazy, no support from the stomach muscles, very bad for the lower back, knees locked, lower back locked, so we unlock the knees, tuck the tailbone under, and shoulders back. Imagine a string from the very, very top of your head pulling you all the way to the sky, but make the string in the center of your skull, not in the back, not in the front, so that you can feel your chin drop as your head pulls up to the sky and you experience a nice long spine. Shoulders open, arms dropped, and just experience that absolute stillness. If you're able to stand this way, you'll find that your body is stacked one part on top of the other, and it will require the minimal amount of effort for you to stay upright. And therefore, this also becomes your state of readiness. If you are in this position, you can make any move in any direction, and you are continually supported by your own body. Once you find yourself in the neutral standing position, make sure that everything is nice and loose. Bounce a few times. Feel that there's no tension in your knees, no tension in the shoulders. Allow the arms to be free. And if you like, you can even bounce your head on the occipital point. The occipital point is the ball bearing where your skull sits on your spine. Therefore, almost like a puppy in one of the back windows, you can just allow your head to feel nice and loose, nice and loose. The wonderful thing about this exercise is you need a minimal amount of space in order to get into the neutral standing position and to relax yourself. In any situation where you feel tense or overwhelmed, it's always good to just return to the neutral standing position. It doesn't just have to be for performance. This can be in any aspect of life or before you have to do anything that's making you nervous. Great. So now that we are in the neutral standing position, 
we're just going to relax and warm up our neck so that we can create space between our shoulders and our ears. It's very, very easy when we get tense to pull our shoulders up towards our ears, to hunch over, lose all our breath capacity. We must remember to keep everything open so that we can expand air into the lungs, into the belly. Open and proud. Be proud of your body. It belongs to you and there is no other body like it. So we're going to create space between the shoulders and the ears by just dropping our right ear to our right shoulder. Bend the knee slightly so the tension doesn't creep in there and allow the natural weight of your right arm on your left ear to just extend the stretch a little bit. You'll feel it from the shoulder to the ear. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, you can reach your hand out to the side like you're trying to grab hold of a small toddler next to you. Move your fingers and you'll feel the stretch in the neck. And you can bounce a little bit. Bounce a little bit, bounce a little bit. Straighten up, drop your left arm, drop your right arm, and slowly allow your head to float back to the center. We'll repeat that on the other side. Left ear to the left shoulder, left arm on the right ear. Allow the natural weight of your elbow, don't pull, natural weight to extend that stretch from the tip of your shoulder to the underside of your ear. Bend your knees a little, and just extend that right arm out. Wiggle your feeling, oh, fingers. If you don't feel like stretching for a toddler, you can think about a chocolate bar. Drop the arm, straighten the legs, drop the arm and allow the head to float back up to center. You should feel a difference already.